And here is the President of the United States. Hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. President. Welcome aboard the International Space Station. Well, I am glad to be... Is this Scott? Yes, sir. How are you, my friend? I am doing uh, just fine, Mr. President. Thank you. Well, uh, look, I wanted to call and just say how uh, personally proud I am of you and, and all that you're accomplishing. Uh, you know, we are always inspired by the images of you guys at work uh, as you put some of the final pieces in place to make uh, ISS fully operational. And you are setting such a great example with your dedication, uh, your, your courage, uh, your commitment to exploration. You know, these are traits that built America, and you guys personify them. Uh, and uh, Colonel Lindsay, it must be a great honor to be the last commander of uh, uh, the, the Discovery. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's traveled more distance in space and spent more time in orbit than any of its peers in the shuttle fleet. Uh, so uh, it's appropriate that it's uh, performing this uh, critical and iconic mission. Uh, and uh, adding to the legacy uh, by uh, by working on this uh, uh, ISS uh, assembly to full operations. Well, thank thank you, sir. Uh, on behalf on behalf of the crew, it's you know it's a real privilege for us to get to fly Discovery on her final mission and. Uh, uh, we were actually trying to calculate with uh, now we're going to land on Wednesday, and we're calculating. We think that when we land, we'll, uh, Discovery will have flown in space for 365 days, so for a whole year, which is pretty incredible for a vehicle. And uh, and she's uh, been into space, uh, I think, 38, 39 times, and that's a pretty incredible record. And and uh, she won't be forgotten for a long, long time. We hope. Well, uh, it, that's that's a remarkable, remarkable record, and. Uh... I understand that uh, you've got a full complement of 12 astronauts and cosmonauts uh, that are on the line. And, uh, I also understand there's been a lot of traffic up there. Uh, we've got uh, a vehicle from every partner that flies to the ISS, right? So we've got U.S., Russia, European Space Agency, and Japan. Uh, you know, that's a pretty good metaphor for how we uh, need to live and work together uh, productively in space and, and maybe back here on Earth. So uh, it's just a, it's a great uh, testament to the dedication of you and your colleagues uh, making uh, ISS function so smoothly. And, and that's something that uh, all, the, all the countries involved can be proud of. Well, well, thank you for that, sir. And, uh, and you're right. We have uh, modules from every, uh, every uh, nation participating. And uh, it is a testimony that, uh, you know, countries that can work together and build something and, and we really wish everybody could come uh, come up here and see this, and they get an appreciation for um, that. All of these countries put together the probably the most complex thing ever built, and built it in space, built it all, and uh, put it all together. And you know what? Everything fit the first time we tried it, which is uh, which is pretty incredible uh, engineering feat, and just a testimony of the cooperation between all the countries involved. Now, I, I understand that uh, you guys have a new crew member, uh, this uh, R2 robot. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know whether you guys are uh, putting uh, R2 to work, uh, but uh, he's gotten a lot of attention. And, uh, you know, that, that helps inspire some, uh, some young people when it comes to science and technology. So uh, uh, it, 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 what, are, are you guys uh, making him do chores up there, washing the dishes or something, or, or does he have uh, more exciting jobs? Well, sir, uh, we actually just uh, just pulled them out of our uh, the permanent multi-purpose module that we just delivered and installed two days ago. I think we pulled them out uh, yesterday, and he's off camera right there, right next to uh, the camera, just off camera. He's still in packing foam, so we hope to uh, to get him out uh, shortly, and uh, it's going to be fun to see how uh, how he works. <laughs> he's still in packing foam. That's a shame, man. Come on, guys, unpack the guy. <laughs> He flew all that way, and you, and you guys aren't unpacking him? <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the poor guy's been locked in that foam for about four months now, and uh, every once in a while we hear kind of some scratching sounds from inside, and uh, maybe, uh, you know, let me out, let me out, but we're not sure. All right, well, uh, well let, let, let him stretch his legs uh, uh, pretty soon. 
But, uh, look, I, I just want to uh, congratulate everybody uh, at NASA, all the personnel past and present who, who have spent uh, untold effort in making the space shuttle discovery a, a, a unique part of uh, our history in space. And uh, Congratulations to all the other uh, nations that are involved in the ISS and, and uh, uh, we, we could not be prouder of, of what you guys are doing. And, and uh, but let me say, uh, Scott, uh, I, I talked to Mark uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, it sounds like Gabby's making incredible progress, and uh, uh, you know we're, we're just uh, thrilled for them. And, and so they're always in our thoughts and prayers as well. I know I know uh, that's something that has been of deep concern to you as well. So I just want to let you know that. Yes, sir. Thank you. She's uh, she's really a true inspiration to. Uh to all of us. I appreciate your words. All right. Well, thank you, guys. This is a tremendous accomplishment, and uh, Godspeed as you guys get uh, back home safe and sound. Yes, sir. Thanks for your uh, your time to talk to us today. We really uh, appreciate it. You bet. Bye-bye, everybody.